Monsieur Drake, let me get you. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need that for now. I need you to brief me first. One thing you may not know, Nelson. What we did was declaring war on both men and the gods. One inconclusive move, and we're history. Oh, come on, boss. And I'm not giving to making inconclusive moves. That's why I'm one of the most successful in this business, this kidnapping business. Well, Pastor Leo was able to subdue the spirit behind the mask. A Canadian art collector paid for and has left the country with the mask. Boss. Right here, boss. Great Albert, you know, would have been green with envy had he been there to see me perform yesterday. Uh, I uh, killed them, Nelson. I killed them. It's your guinea of Abba. It's your guinea of Abba. Call me again, Nelson. It's your guinea of Doku. Call me again, Nelson. This is just the beginning, Nelson. This is just the beginning. Her Majesty refers to His Majesty as my Lord in public and in their privacy. And if His Majesty is angry, she is forbidden from looking to his face while talking to him. So is every other person anyways. She has this habit of squeezing his hands and winking at him whenever she wanted them alone for one reason or the other. I think that's all for today. Tomorrow we'll discuss their likes and dislikes when it comes to food and every other details in that area. Any question? I take your silence to mean no. Your turn, Lillian. Don't you ever call my name. You swine. You called me what? I called you a shameless slave, swine. Quiet! Let me undo this. You know what this is? This is cement mixed with water. Now I'm going to make sure you drink every single drop of it. And when you are dead, make sure you throw her cups in the sewage pit. Now hold that down. No. I said hold, hold that down. I'm sorry. Hold her. I'm sorry. Please. Please. Hold. Please. 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 Please, my daughter, please. Now, try talking back again. And your cups will end up which beat. She won't talk again. This is just the beginning. Will you disobey Amelia again? No. 
I didn't hear you. No! No! Try it again and you're dead. Untie yourself. I can't untie myself. I, I'll, I'll untie myself. For a jumper, right? Wrong assumption, babe. You are nothing but a slave. <sighs> Hello, boss. She's refusing to eat. Brutalize her into submission. Do it now. Okay, boss. Consider it done, boss. What did he say? He gave us a green light to apply a Taliban method on her. Here we go. This is just the beginning. Eat your food or we'll beat you to death. You must be out of your mind. <sighs> oh. Biv, tear her clothes into shreds. By the time I'm done with you, you will not recognize the shape of that thing in between your legs. Then eat your food. Good girl. Now, eat. Let me wash out the blood in my mouth. No! You've lost that privilege. You will eat with the blood in your mouth. Now, you have five seconds to start eating. One! Majesty, your food is ready. Your Majesty, I said your food I is ready. Have you informed Lord of it? Yes, Your Majesty. I'll be there shortly. Majesty. Let me go for her again. No. I'll go myself.
Celine said she told you that food is ready. I don't have appetite, my lord. It's almost 24 hours since you tasted anything in this house. My dear, do you want to starve yourself to death? I am not hungry, my lord. My stomach is already filled. The gods have been feeding me with the bread of sorrow since yesterday. They have. Look at me, my dear. Look at me. I have not been spared the ordeal either. I have been... Uh, uh, the same bread of sorrow has been stuffed through my throat. If we must survive, then we must be strong in mind and spirit. And the only way to do that is to eat. Eat? Where is my daughter? Where is the princess of Abba? Is she alive? If she is, has she eaten? What have they fed her? The gods will take care of her. The gods are no more. They have been burnt, destroyed, Whatever is responsible for what is happening in Abba is even more powerful than the gods. I mean, can't you see? We are under a dangerous siege. The way out is what we should be talking about, not food. Well, no. But we need some fuel in us, however little. I'm sorry, my lord. I will not eat anything without my daughter back in this palace. I'm sorry. I will not. I will not.
In a nutshell, Your Majesty, we have explored all the leads we have. All hit dead end. Meaning what in layman's terms? In simple terms, we don't know anything about the whereabouts of your daughter. In fact, we don't know whether she's still alive or not. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but that is the bitter truth. You may leave, officer. I know that you're dismissing him. Where is my daughter? Officer, please don't go yet. Where is my daughter? Where is my daughter? Help me find my daughter, please. Help me. Even if she's dead, please. Let me just see her corpse. Please. 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 Thank you. Please. Help me. She'll be back home, safe and sound. You and your men have refused to tell us anything since you took my husband away from here. Instead, you brought a lady to come and teach us about some people we don't know anything about. But I've, I've talked to my daughter and we agreed that we'll cooperate with you to whatever extent. My mother is in line. We will cooperate with you to any extent because we want to leave here in peace and go home. No more fighting, no more disobedience. We will do as you say. Obviously, you have won. Cooperate with Amelia first, and I'll be convinced. Reveal to me every secret. Open up, O oh Lord, my eyes. Let me see every truth that has to do with the situation we find ourselves. Oh, in the heart, Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Amen. You see, the Holy Spirit just revealed to me that Princess Olama is alive. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. The Spirit revealed to me that she was kidnapped by ritualists for human sacrifice because she's a virgin. She is alive. Yes, she is. Time. Time is fast running out for her. Where is my daughter? Where are they keeping her? You see, the people behind our ordeal are very, very wicked and powerful indeed. In fact, they are behind the destruction of the gods your people have trusted for generations. But Pastor, please, 
How and where do we start looking for her? No. Only one man. Only one man can find her. Oh. Oh God. Who? Oh. oh, ghost. The spirit is not revealing its identity to me, Your Majesty. Oh. Please. Where is she? Where are they keeping her? Please. How well do we get her? How much time does my daughter have? Please. Time is fast running out of her. Our days are numbered, Your Majesty. Peace be unto this house. What's up? Pastor! Do you really believe what that young man said? Yes, my king, I do. Hmm. Who is he? And how much do you know about him? I don't really know him that much, but he is widely reputed to be the most powerful man of God east of the Niger. Mm -hmm. The most powerful man of God east of the Niger. Impressive. Intimidating credentials. Hmm. You know, he said many things. But still. He didn't say the most important things. Like the whereabouts of our daughter, the identity of her abductors, and the identity of the only man who can find her. Hmm. <laughs> what manner of solution is that? My king, please, stop doubting. Olama's life is at stake here. Please do something. My dear, I am neither doubting or, or, or sitting on my laurels. No. I'm looking for information. Information that will help me in the next step that I take. Look, our gods have failed us. The police have no clue. The Christian God is confusing rather than clarifying. I think it is time to consult Mpoto of Okono Ohavia. Yes. The most powerful seer in West Africa. Yes, I think it is time. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic job you did, Pastor Leo. My informant in the palace told me that you left Her Majesty absolutely convinced. Her husband must be under intense heat from her to act. And he must act. You see, it's not for nothing they call me the most powerful man of God. The East of the Ninja. My house is a mecca of sorts to all ages, sexes, classes and race. And um, some of us are still in business because of the spiritual backing we get from you. Oh, you've said it all. Oh, I told you the last time you guys came consulting me that the moment you come to me, all your aims and this has been achieved. Just relax and watch events unfold. Okay, I like that. <laughs> Good job, Pastor Leo. Good job. Here you go. That's your teller. 
The 500 grand you charged for your trip to the palace was paid in a few hours ago. So you got it. And Excuse me. Hello. Hey, relax. Be calm. Talk to me. What? <sighs> All right. All right, fine. Thank you. Pastor, there's trouble. His Majesty has decided to consult the dreaded Mpoto of Okunohafia. What? Mpoto, the greatest native here in West Africa? Ah, Pastor. Mpoto will expose everything I'm doomed. You see, seniority is not what anyone jokes with in the spirit realm. You see, <clears throat> in the occult world, I hold the prestigious 999 rank. While your so called greatest seer in West Africa holds the 777 rank. So relax. Just relax. Mpoto will do everything you ask him to do, if I ask him to, or else I will destroy you. I'm sorry I don't believe you, Pastor. Oh, the Okoye. I neutralized and destroyed Okoko and all your people's gods. Tell me, what else do you want me to do to make you a believer? I'll tell you. Get me Mpoto of Okuno Hafia right here and now, and I will believe you. Yes. No, but where, where, where? In my own house, boss? No, you, 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 do, do you want to kill me, Jibo? Relax, Nancy. Get me an egg. Huh? Yes. An egg. You heard the man, Nelson. You eat eggs, don't you? Get him an egg. Where am I? Who knows me here? 
Relax. Relax. He is a friend. Ibokwe and Nelson, the great Umpoto of Okunua Fia is at your service. I like this guy. <laughs> Master Leo. Totally unacceptable. If anything happens to that girl, the whole essence of this operation is defeated. How could you let it happen? But Jama, nobody could have suspected that of her. That means you all are a bunch of buffoons. Oh yes, if you are the professionals that you made me believe you are, then you should have seen it coming. She's been held against her will, a pampered baby all her life, not a common dog. God of you. For God's sake, you don't talk to my boys. You shut up. Yes. Anyhow, you are my boy, I am your boss, therefore your guys are my servants. Slap to me. And I will slap you again if you talk back on me, Nelson. If you don't want me to hit you again, then talk to me on how to avoid a repeat of what just happened. Don't try to teach me how to talk to your idiots. Oh, come on. Back down, guys. Okay. I'll take care of it. Meanwhile, you guys will return to where the lady is kept and make sure that at no point in time would she be left ever on her own again. You know, this will be the last time you will do this. The last time. Sorry about it. I was only trying to define myself to your guys. Not at my own expense. It never, never repeat <coughs> itself again. I tell you, 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 Umpoto is still Umpoto. That's me. <laughs> the great seer of Okunu or Havia. The one who travels and in a trail of smoke. The Elijah of Africa. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, great one. Is my, is my daughter alive? Yes, she is. Because the priest. Where, where, where is she? I mean, uh, who is holding her? Only justice can save the princess. Only justice. 
I'm fine. I, I, I don't understand, Great One. <laughs> you greatly wronged the last issue. And he died of heart attack. Because of the decision you and your cabinet took against him. His spirit is angry. And for that, your daughter and indeed the entire Abba is crying to them. The solution lies with his son. The Isiogidi of Abba. To him, with the spirit, reveal where your daughter is. And only him can find the missing princess and restore peace to all the nook and cranny of Abba. And this can only be done if you publicly go to his father's grave and apologize to him. Great one. The spirit has spoken. Go back home. After the apology has been rendered, hand this effigy to him. This effigy will lead him to where your daughter is. And don't forget, the time is not on the side of your daughter, your family, and the entire Abba. I see Gabriel in the sky, about to fall. Do not allow this rain to fall upon your people. I repeat, only justice can save the situation. Is there anything you are yet to understand about all that I've taught you about the mannerisms of Her Majesty and Princess Olama in the last couple of days? No. Beautiful. I think that concludes everything. You can now return to your rooms for further instructions. Not today. Amen. Lillian, you can go to the room alone. Both of you, this way. No, I, I, I don't understand. So where are you taking my mother? The real operation has just started. What are you, what, what are you doing? This way. Wait, wait. Go to your room. Move it. Wait, wait. 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 At least it's... Majesty will soon leave the doctor's place. Now, except there's a dangerous twist along the way, do not do anything that is not in our original plan. Am I clear? Good. Just do a good job of it, and good luck. your life here with the bullets. No, 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 no. I will do anything you want me to do. Please don't hurt me. Then do not give me any reason to end your life today. Please don't hurt me.
What is going on here? Why are you stopping? Mm. What? Shut up. Selling. She will pull the trigger if you don't shut up to us, Your Majesty. They are here. She will undress as soon as she gets into the next car. Make sure the other lady's clothes are taken away from her the moment she gets into this car. We don't have time to waste. Come down from this car! Now! Do this way! How long am I going to be this way? Well, that depends on how long it will take the police to get you. The police? Yeah, the police. They will have to find you and take you to the palace. Or the scheme will be less convincing. Do you have a problem with that? Like my opinion matters. Please, let's get this done, so I can have my peace and my parents can rest. I've always known you to be a smart-ass little girl. Mm. Lily, baby. Welcome to royalty, Her Majesty. Peace. <laughs> The gods have answered our prayers. Oh yes, they have revealed our daughter's whereabouts to the Gold Queen. Yes, right this minute he's on his way with the police to take them to the place and rescue her. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lord, thank you. Yes, he will have a lot of people to thank him for. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my lord. Yeah. So, how are you feeling? Tell me, this, how did, what did the doctor say about uh, the general debility that you complained about? Stress. Okay. He recommended a lot of rest and nothing more. I'm sure you will have plenty of that once our daughter returns unarmed. <laughs> of course, my lord. <laughs> Uh, my lord, I would like to rest a while in my room before they come back. Rest in your room? Yes, my lord. My whole body has started aching again. Uh, Sorry. Right. Your Majesty. Let's go. Hello. Igbo Koi? 
are, are you there yet? I beg you in the name of God, please make sure that my daughter returns unharmed. I trust you will. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bless you. How did I perform? Excellently. Very excellently. Are you sure? He looks like a very smart man. Are you sure he's not going to decode everything sooner than later? He is indeed a very smart man. Just be smarter and it is done. Do not forget what is at stake for you and your family. And in case you need any help, do not fail to approach me. Okay? I'll be leaving now. Every staff in this palace is not expected to be in this room beyond two minutes, especially when His Majesty is around. See? I'm scared. Fight. Eat. Udumaya, great Udumaya, where is she? Eyes of the spirits, is she in here? Okay. Thank you. Officers, she's in here. Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. Udumaya is Mpoto of Okuno Hafia's most potent charm. It never lies. Listen, mister, we are officers of the law. I will work with the facts only. Of course. Dumayaya is another name for facts. Officer, let's stop wasting time. Let's go in there and save the princess before she's home. You wait outside here. From now on, this point it becomes police operation strictly. Okay? You come with me inside. You wait outside here and stay with me, okay? Thank you, Dumaya. Thank you, Dumaya. Have they found her? So said Udumaya. Wow, there she comes. You know, those bastards got away. No suspects? No suspects, we didn't catch any of them. Let's go, let's leave. You get the car, quickly. Fast. Really? Remove the blindfold, untie her hands, and bring her in, baby. Happy reunion with your daughter, Your Majesty. What is difficult to understand in that? What are you doing? Who is doing this to us, Mom? What is going on? No way! Oh, no. I really do not know. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? 
Hello? Hello, please. Ibn Okwe. Now, why haven't you, or, uh, and, and the officers, why haven't you picked up my calls? Your girl? And my daughter? Oh! <laughs> what, <laughs> have they rescued them? They have just entered the kingdom. With my daughter, Hale and Hat. Oh, <laughs> oh that's the ghost of our ancestors. Oh, you're wonderful. Oh, wonderful. This is fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Everybody, bring the champagne. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. My head, I think it's alright. People, we will not die. Yeah. I don't, 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 I Please don't. Don't tell me anything about the royal code of conduct. I don't want to hear about it now, not later, not ever. My goodness. What have they done to my daughter? The question should be that you don't know daughter. What? Look at my face. And look at it very well, Dad. You will pay for everything you made me go through. You will pay for every blood that was shed in the process. You must face the law. That, I swear. What's What did you say? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Um, uh, all officers, well, thank you very much. At this point, you may have to leave us. Thank you. Oh. else you have my cops in your hands in the next 10 seconds. I beg you in the name of God, please calm down. Calm down and I, 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 I will... The clock is ticking. I beg you in the name Get of God. Get out. Please. My Lord. Please. My Lord, please. Please leave. <laughs> please leave. Leave. I, I, I'll talk to her Lord. Please. I'm sure she will tell you everything when she's in a better mood. She's traumatized. Please. I mean it. Go. Wait, 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 wait. Strike down the person who has done this to my daughter. Mm. Just go! Ah! No, no, please, please, please. I am, I am not your child. I am, I 
am not your daughter. I am not her mother. I am your mother. Mama? Mm. It seems he suspected we planned to outsmart him. So he moved to generate us. How did it happen? It's a long story. The summary of it all is that we are into something big and sinister. What did my daughter tell you on your way here? Nothing, nothing, Your Majesty. Nothing! My family is burning. And I am totally ignorant of the cause. So, in the name of our ancestors, I order you to tell me whatever it is that she told you on your way back here to the palace today. Nothing, Your Majesty. Except that after her initial joy at regaining her freedom, she ordered all of us never to communicate with you if it has to do with her, or she would kill herself right there in the car. There is something must be wrong somewhere. Oh yes. It was only after about an hour of begging that she allowed me to call you when we got into the kingdom. My king, did she tell you why she is angry? Closest to me of all my children. But for her to draw a knife on herself to force me out of her room tells me that there is a dangerous crisis. get out something from her. And you think she'll tell you what she refused to tell her own father? Oh no, you heard his majesty. The palace is on fire. So doing nothing is no longer an option. Please stay with him. performance from both of you so far. Indeed, you exceeded my expectations. Why did you bring my mother here too? Uh, you try to blow everything to her thinking she's a majesty, huh? <laughs> you don't know me. I don't take chances, baby. Uh -uh. Where is my sister now? Oh, she is alive and well and at the moment she is reunited with her daughter. I'm sure she'll be all smiles where she is. All smiles in captivity? Whatever. Now to the next phase of the plan. I'm a very busy man. Don't mess this up. Let's go. Let's go. Don't shout. Oh. Don't forget you're not the princess. You're just acting. Move. Don't waste my time. Let's go.
Father, can you before the elders and mother tell me why you did it? Why I did what? Why you had me kidnapped. What? Why you had my maid and my guard murdered by hardened criminals. Just because I threatened to expose you for impregnating Emilia? Aru, do you realize the weight of what you have just said, my princess? It is an abomination for the Igwe to have sex with a woman he's not legally married to. Then this man here, my father, is a taboo. So that exactly is what he did. What? He is a kidnapper and a murderer. And as we speak, he still hides Emilia to conceal the truth. Would you shut your mouth? Are you possessed by an evil spirit? I am possessed by anger over your evil deed. And if you say I'm lying, why don't you produce Emilia? Then we'll know who's lying. We'll produce Emilia? I don't know where Emilia is. Upon my life, I do not know where Emilia is. Shame. You can still look us all in the face and lie. Such, such cheap lies. Very well then. Let's wait. Perhaps when the police arrive, the truth will certainly come out. Come on, princess. Not again. You are walking out on your father. Not again! My lord. If at the end of the day she's telling the truth, You can't go out today. What do you mean we we can't go out today? Yes. Okay. What's the meaning of this? Are you out of your minds? Have you all forgotten who you are in this palace and in this kingdom? Hey, let's go. Have you forgotten? What is going on here? Ordinary guards prevented us from using the car. And when we wanted to trek out of this compound, and they blocked the gate. How dare you do that? Ah! He said, stop. He's acting under the most sacred decree in Abba. If I allows Her Majesty and the Princess out of the palace before His Majesty revises the case, he will drop dead. What? When, when did my husband issue such a decree? Earlier today, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. I see. So my father aims to stop me with this nonsense. <laughs> Sorry, Daddy. Officer. Yes. Please. I need you to bring your men to the palace immediately. I'm being held hostage in the palace by my father. And I have serious reasons to believe that my life and that of my chief maid are in serious danger. Please hurry. Thank you. It's okay. Elders. I'm off here. 
You people are getting me confused here. Can somebody explain things to me in simple terms? This is my maid officer. My father slept with her. In other kingdom, it is a boo for the king to sleep with a woman he's not legally married to. She confided in me that she was pregnant by my father. In anger, I confronted my father. And next, I was kidnapped. My guard was killed. My maid was killed in the process. On my return, I told the elders everything my father had done. And next, this happened. Let me just shut up! That is not truth in what you say. No truth. Not an iota of truth. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. I'm placing you under arrest right what? now. Keep your explanation till you get to the station. Murderer. Hmm? Officer, sir. Coffin. Yes, sir. I I I I I want to be on my no, subject. Please, please move it. I protect them. Igwe. What is going on? Ah, Igwe. What, what, what is going on? Tell them. Please tell them what? that I cannot kill any of you. They are all my subjects. Officer, this is the Igwe of Abba Kingdom. You cannot do this. I will. You have turned your killing machine against your own people, against your fiance. She told me you promised to marry her, that was why she joined your evil plot. Who killed Emilia? You don't need to know. I need to know, and I must know. If you don't tell me, my mother and I will stop cooperating in this evil plot of yours. Really? Yes. All right. All I need is a, a very little sign of such. And you, your mom, and your two younger brothers will be dead before you know what hit you. You can't possibly... Eberia and Selin are under my direct orders to constantly watch you. Just in case you ever think of doing anything stupid. Are you saying you don't trust this anymore? I never told you I trusted you. I hate you! Say me. Honestly, I'll be going against protocol, allowing you access to him. 
he is not yet interrogated. And, um, okay, you are all gentlemen and respected leaders of a great people. For that singular reason, I'll bring him to see you in a jiffy, precisely five minutes. Thank you, officer. Thank, Thank you. We're grateful. Excuse me. Thank you. Let's do it. Representatives of the ancestors of Abba. We are here. Stop it. That's all right. It's all right, Inspector. They are here to fulfill a very important tradition, especially when the king of Abba is accused of an abomination of this. Facing you this morning are the ancestors of Abba. And talking to you now is Eni Igidi, the great founder of Abba. Your Majesty, did you do what you are being accused of? I did not. Remember the consequences of lying? I do not. And I have never forgotten the consequences of lying to you. My answer remains the same. I did not lie. I have never done it. It is the truth. And nothing but the whole truth. At your service. What are you doing? Are you out of your mind? You also kidnapped the Isiogidi of Abba Kingdom? No, 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 no. Nobody can kidnap me. I am their boss. What? Isiogidi Mukwe. You mean you're the one behind all the evil going on in Abba Kingdom? such an expensive joke on my family. How dare you? One more step and both of you will die this minute. Why? Why are you doing this? What do you stand to gain by doing this? Where did we go wrong? With due respect, my princess. Shut up. <clears throat> Your cell phone. You will pick up that cell phone right in front of me this minute and call your two sons in America. Listen to me, I'm still talking. You will call them right now, order them to come back to this country and take care of your family crisis. Tell them that their father, His Majesty, has been arrested for plotting the kidnap of their sister and for murdering her chief maid, Amelia, earlier today. What in God's name are you up to, Yuhui? 
Do you want to wipe out my entire family? God forbid that I give you that chance. I will not make that call to your worst. All right. I'll do my worst. <laughs> In 60 seconds, if you don't make the call, your daughter dies. When I'm done with her, I give you two minutes. You don't make the call, you die. When I'm done with both of you, of course, I'll get someone else to make the call for me. So, the choice is yours. Give me 60 counts. One. Wait, wait! He's right, Mother. Our deaths will not solve anything. You can't stop him. Please make the call. Let's console ourselves with the fact that evil can never prevail over good. Make the call. Where are you going to? I want to ease myself. Can't I have a little privacy? I'm just obeying others. All are under arrest for the murder of His Majesty. What? He was found dead this morning in his cell. His Majesty? Yes. He was poisoned and we have every reason to suspect that you people did it when you visited yesterday. Oh no, come on, officer. These are elders of our kingdom. No, Isogi is not part of it. Leave him.
kill them too, don't you? One more unguarded statement from you and you're dead. You think I enjoy doing this? Huh? You think I enjoy forcing you to do this? You think I'm comfortable with the risk I take each second I keep you here? He has to give way for you to regain your freedom quicker than would have been the case. What a cheap excuse to shed human blood. How cheap could life be to you? Emilia helped you and you killed her. 24 hours later, you killed His Majesty too. At this rate, Iwogwe, who will be safe with you at the end of this your crazy enterprise? Who will not become expendable eventually? You and your family. But that depends on how much you continue to cooperate with me. Are my sister and her daughter still alive? None of your business. Really? Yeah. You're really taking a lot for granted. Do not forget the saying that blood is thicker than water. Uh, <laughs> are you planning to spoil my show for your sister's sake? my children so much. Good. I'll do anything for them to remain alive. Over to you, Lillian. Everybody told me that the police called you. What did they want? Nothing. They only insisted on seeing me at their office in an hour. I don't need to remind you that you will be starting a bloodbath and none of us will survive. If you go there and start talking carelessly. But my mother rightly told you. We love our family. Smart girl. Your phone. My princess, you are the visitor you said I have. You have five minutes. Thank you very much, officer. Honestly, they are accusing us wrongly. We only came here yesterday to perform a ritual demanded of us by royal tradition. I am sorry, maybe the ancestor killed their father for lying to them. I'm wondering, Amanda, do your ancestors poison a man that wronged them if they want to kill him? No. The police also invited me here to be interrogated. They finished me a few minutes ago. I begged them to let me see you because I want to ask you a question. Now that my father is dead, only, who ascends the throne if my two brothers in America are perhaps unavailable? This yogi will be crowned in way. Why do you ask? Are the princess in trouble? None that I know of. I'm just curious. My princess, tell me the truth. Did his majesty do all the things you accused him of? Officer! Officer! Yes? Thank you very much. I'm done with him. Move. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry. Please, can I borrow your phone for a minute? Thank you very much. Could you tell me it's only Prince Roland that came into the country? Where is the other prince? All right, all right, all right, fine, 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 fine. It's okay, it's okay. Comport. It's all right. Fine. At least you can see Prince Roland. Fine, you're sure he's there. Pick him up once you leave the airport. Kill him. 
Oh yes, make it look like a perfect car accident. I repeat, David, make it look like a perfect car accident. Fine, carry on. Oh, Nelson, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Maybe he missed his flight. I'm sure he will catch another and when he does, that will be it. And how do I do that? Huh? How do I kill two princes in one day? One dies in a car crash, the other one dies through another violent means. Both of them are coming back from America, come on. My people have no fools. They are right. The plane is already airborne. Is he on the plane? I cannot see the faces of the passengers clearly. But, 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 but why, Pastor? The plane is flying across the Atlantic Ocean. What are its powerful gentlemen? How much more time before it crosses the ocean? Give and take. Say four hours. Oh, yes. I can see the passenger manifest in New York. Hmm. Yes. His name is on it. Uh, Should I go ahead and destroy the. No, 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 no. no. Not yet. Not yet? Yes. Boss. Not yet. I want to make this more painful for the mother and the sister. Good job. news from Roland, your son. Roland? Mm -hmm. Is he back already? Let me guess. You've kidnapped him too, right? Yes? Death did. What? Mm. Mm -hmm. 
He and one of the royal guards were crushed by a speeding lorry on their way from the airport. They never had a chance. You didn't give him a chance! You didn't give him a chance to fight for survival! Of course not. Too late in my plot to give chances, don't you think? No. Too late. No. Oh you know God. what? Whatever this is oh all God. about, we have to end here and now. Mm. If you do not kill us, we will kill you. Don't push me. Kill me. Don't push me. Kill us. Peace, ladies. Pastor Leo, oh thank you for coming to our rescue. God bless you. Where are the policemen you brought? Are they outside? Please tell them to come in and arrest this beast before he... <laughs> Dummies. If I heard the reverend gentleman correctly, he said, Peace, ladies. And that means, hold it. You work for him too, Pastor? A man of God? Your Majesty, I am here to do a job. My God. You are here to do a job or you're here to further betray the God you worship? Oh, shut up. What do you know about the God he worships, huh? I invited Pastor Leo to do a job for me, so I say, you sit back, relax, and watch. Because right in front of you, your son, Igwebike, will die. No, no, no. Reverend, make it very theatrical. No! Please! No, please! Please! What are you doing? On the bar! In the bar! Ten! news are you with? Are you now calling me a harbinger of bad news? No, your bad news itself. Oh, I keep telling you people, cut out the violence. Well, madam, you're right. I brought you bad news. Prince Roland and the guard who accompanied Ebiri to pick him up from the airport died in an auto crash. noise yet. Not just yet, until the officials who are on their way to inform you arrive. Oh, now when... What? Sit down. When they arrive, I want you to do something for me. I want you to cry. Weep. Weep like you've never done before. Can you do that for me, please? You killed him too. Um, it really went to the airport with the dead guard. How come he is not among the dead? Dummy. I don't kill my own. I'll tell that to this buffoon. Tell that to this buffoon standing here doing all your evil bidding with the hope that you are going to spare her life at the end. But you won't. You know why you won't? Because you are a blood tasty beast. That's what you are. And nobody, nobody is safe with you. Sit your spot. 
Are you in essence telling me that you no longer believe that I will spare your life and the life of your family? So because of that, you are now working to spoil my plot. Do you want an answer to that question? I love my family. Don't make me doubt you on that. Take care of that. Ah, by the way. A plane crashed earlier today. I don't know if you guys heard about it. Sad. Particularly very sad for the kingdom because Prince Ibrabike was on that flight. No! 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 Shut up! Shut up! I said shut up! Look, if you drop that or let your hand bend, you will get 12 flashes instantly here. Please, officer. Who poisoned his majesty? Please, I'm innocent! I said shut up! Please, Please, I'm innocent! You think I'm joking? Enough, officer! Enough! Drop the blocks, elders. Who are you? Are you out of your mind? Who do you think you... I have a, I have a court order to that effect. Elders, drop the blocks and get up. Uh, He's stating the facts. I've seen the court orders. It's all right, get up. Get up, all of you. Uh, uh, you think you can poison his majesty? <laughs> Please thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Since the news came two days ago, our dear kingdom has been thrown into mourning and confusion. Their deaths meant that the vacuum in the people's throne has become very complex. It was based on this that I met with our town union executives and we were able to secure your release through the court of law. It cost me a whole lot of money. Oh yes. But then again, our dear kingdom, Abba, is worth sacrificing for by any true son of the soil. And seated right here is a true son of the soil. But that aside, the question now is, who sits on the throne in the absence of his majesty and his two sons? We need to move forward. The throne under such circumstances belongs to the sitting Isogidi of Abba. Huh? Yes. Excuse me. Me. Mm -hmm. Oh no, come on, not, not me. I cannot bring myself to gain from the tragedy of other elders, no! <clears throat> it is not a matter of choice. It is a duty that by our tradition, you must accept or die, if not. Huh? You must be joking. It's your giddy. He is right. No. Hi. Hi. Oh. Gods of our land, why? Eh, why? Oh, how, how, how do I sit on the throne and, and rule over my people when my heart is so, so burdened by grief and, and sorrow, pain, death? Ah! Be courageous. The gods of our land will see you through. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Wow. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. On the surface, Your Majesty, you and the princess seem to be the worst hit by the tragedies. But when you look below the surface, you will see that every indigenous father 
especially those of us that are closest to the royal family, are bleeding in our hearts. Yes, we are. Take a look at this, Ogid. Hey! Hey! He has been crying like a baby ever since he was told that the throne of Abba is not his, following the person of your husband and sons. Hey! Oh! Can you see Ogid? He can resume it. Why? Why? Why would the gods, tradition of Abba, make a mockery of my grief? My place is such a normal task on my head. Hey! Please, spare me the pain by telling me what he wants from me. By the circumstance of his death, his corpse is now a taboo in Abba. As long as his corpse remains in Abba, the throne of our forefather will remain vacant. Am I the one to bury him? No. None of us can. Only strangers will help us take his body to evil forest, where it will be hung on a tree for the vultures to consume him. Hey! 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 Can you just imagine, elders? Our own Igwe, Agune Chamba, one of, of Abba Kingdom, Odobu, to be consumed by vultures! Hey! Hey! I'm sorry. Hey, I'm can sorry, I bear elders. this grief? I'm sorry, elders, I lost it. I still haven't seen why I'm here. The police said he have to come to the station to sign the requisite papers before his body can be released. Why do you want me to sign the documents? Tomorrow, Your Majesty. When you're ready, come for me. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Rasatakara Makaratakara Yes, he is inside. Hmm? Now make sure that you keep to the instruction I gave to you. Pastor Liu is a very dangerous man, a very powerful man. As soon as you go in there, claim to be his client. Before he suspects anything, Hmm? Strike him dead. Do you hear me? If you allow him to go close to his source of power, you are dead. Do you hear me well? Badamua. Good. Naji Abunde Kaje. Now the gate is somewhere there. Just go through that gate. I'm waiting. It's alright. I'm waiting. Badamua. From Takara Santa Kamakatara. That's a Takara Matakara. That's a Takara Matakara. I've signed all the necessary documents. You will go with the officer to the mortuary so that they can release the cops to you. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. May our ancestors... I would like to go back to the palace immediately. So, Majesty, please. Gentlemen, let's go.
Yeah, boss. Very good. Get it out. Come on. Come on, Kojo. I love you, Kojo. Go Face down, all of you. If any of you raises up his head, I will cut off the person's head with this dagger. Kaji. Because we cannot plan another evil unless His Majesty's body is recovered. Mm -hmm. And the rituals are evil for us, properly done. Mm -hmm. If we try the other way around, all of us will die within seven days. <laughs> Ablog normally. Are you, are you telling me that? Oh no, no, that. See, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> what I'm saying is this. Let's not reveal this to the public. Okay? Uh, at least we may take some time to... Elders! Come on, don't walk out on me, I'm still talking, Elders! gave them access to a telephone. I, I, I don't understand, sir. You don't understand. Let me brief you. The corpse of the Igwe was stolen today, effectively blocking my way to the throne because I cannot get to the throne until the corpse is recovered. I suspect the princess and queen are behind this. They couldn't have done it without having access to a telephone. Who gave them a phone? I, I, I'm so sorry, sir. It was the princess that did it. I, I was charging my phone, I went to the toilet to ease myself. By the time I got back, I found her dialing with my phone, but, but it, it, she, she couldn't reach the person. I confirmed it myself by redialing the number and it was switched off, sir. It means you just lied to me. I, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, sir. It is, it's alright. It's alright. I've forgiven you. Turn around, leave. Thank you, sir. You don't want to talk to me. You think I am here to play with you. <sighs> Let's see how it goes.
He will tell you everything you want to know. So talk to me. I don't have time to waste. Uh, go and call back in the way. Tell him we're ready to talk. Alone. Suddenly have the whole time to waste. I hear you now waiting for. Fine, then talk. Who's got the cops? I can see you're tying yourself up. Huh? Don't worry about that. We've got this. Talk. Who's got the cops? We want to talk to you alone. Nelson is not going anywhere. You're wasting my time. Who's got the cops? Can I whisper it to you? If not, I won't say anything, not even at the point of death. forever you can kill me you can wipe out all my family members but the god of the innocent will never allow you sit on the throne of upper kingdom shame on you shame on you Ibukwe. shame Are you here? Very well. Well, we're coming. Who is that? Important visitors. They are in the living room. In the living room? How did they know both of you are here? Who are they? Yuri, why don't you keep the questions till you meet them? Mama, let's go. I will take the lead. Selene, yeah. you come after them. Should that be the case? Huh? Shoot both of them dead. Let's go. Mama, let's go. What is going on here? You know them, don't you? That's my father. And that's my mother. You know what is going on? And the boys with them are my sons, whom Ibukwe's men had shadowed of recent. Return them to Kwakwa, Tony, and Peter. Tell him that at any time he fails to hear from me, for one full hour, he should kill them. But, but my, mommy, why don't you? No, but Peter, just go with them. We're fine. Nothing is going to happen. 
Go on, guys. You see, it's not just the lives of your parents that are in danger. The lives of your entire families are in danger. They're all being watched by not on set. And the minute we give our orders, they will kill them all. Don't give me a reason to make a call asking them to kill your entire family members. And if you're in doubt about what she just said, use your phones. Now tell me. Oh, what do you want? Good question. I'll give you the answer back in the room. Meanwhile, can I have your guns, guys? They will be returned to you once they are empty of bullets. I'm just coming from the office of the phone service providers where I went to cross-check things. Betty was right. Lola and the princess never made any call to anyone or sent any text message from her phone. So that narrows it down to both of you. Who are you working for? Tell me I will not ask again. Who took his majesty's cops and murdered my homeboy, Pastor Leo? Are you choking or something? I look like someone who is joking. The two times that both of you went to the police station, you were out of sight. Who did you communicate with? Nobody. Come to think of it, if we wanted to betray you at the police station, should we have taken the option of calling somebody to come and do what you're talking about here? Yeah? Shouldn't we simply have opened up to the police? Do I look like I'm here for an an question and answer session? Do I? Sorry for taking me for granted. By the time I am done with both of you, neither of you will be able to recognize the other. What are you talking about? I will tell you. I will use this, I will use this to cut off your toenails. When I'm done, I cut off your fingernails, all of them, ten of them, pull them out, and then I go to your teeth. Watch me. Don't take this, take them. Take them! Stop it. Stop it. Are you insane? We should be asking you that. What are you trying to do? Tell me! Do you want to put us in trouble? Huh? If you inflict bodily harm on people, both of us are responsible for. What will you tell the people outside? I don't bloody care! You hear me? No human being, dead or alive, will frustrate my plot to achieve what I want. Now take this thing out of my face and take this and take these people! Yeah, it's not on any of them here, and I swear your cops will be the one to mount the throne of Abba. This is suicide both of you are committing. I hope you know that. Pack your things and leave this room now. Pack them and leave! Now move it. Now. Don't forget your tape. That was good, guys. Great job. You obviously want your family members alive. You have proven that. Your eyes have to be on him all the time. Focus alert. 
The time is ready. Are you ready? Beautiful. Elders, this guy right here represents Mpoto of Okuno Hafia. He is just as strong as Mpoto is. He has come here to fortify all of you so you can go ahead and crown me king with or without the body of our late majesty being found. God forbid! I burn ah, Shut it. up! Shut up! Do you know who I am? Huh? You think I'm here to play? Do you know how much money I've invested in this? Huh? It's okay. This is dangerous. What if the giant feels? No! I am Umpoto of Okuno Hafia. Umpoto is me. The charm will not fail. Pick it up! The charm will not fail. Pick it up right now or I'll put a bullet in the heads of all of you. Right now. What's going on here? It's simple. Tied in the pieces of cloth in your hands is the same poison I used to kill His Majesty. Hey! hey. You? It's all you You! You! Yes. I will tell you what I want. I want the throne of Abba. And the throne of Abba I must get. Pick it up! What do you really want? Good question. I want you to lie to our people. Tell them that the body of our late king has been found and disposed of accordingly. Banner. Shut up, I'm still talking. You do not have the luxury of saying no. This guy standing right before you is a police detective. So if you waste my time, he'll go in there, dress up properly, come out and call his people to come here and arrest you. And remember, you already have your fingerprints on the pieces of cloth in your hands. It's so good. Are you accusing us of... Come into my house to poison me just as you poisoned our late king at the police station. Oh yes. And don't forget, in addition to facing the hangman's news, all your family members will be banished from Abba for the rest of their lives. So, the choice is yours. Having successfully recovered and disposed of your husband's corpse as demanded by our royal tradition, it is now time to commence the process of installing his successor. That informed this meeting. I don't see how that necessitates a meeting with my daughter and I, you know. Since the kingship has left this family, what is our business with the coronation of another king? Because of the peculiar nature of the succession, there's a ritual surviving members of the family must perform at the coronation or it will be considered illegitimate by the gods and our people. Where? At the forest of the kings. When? Tomorrow, noon. We'll be there. Like you and your boss, my mother and I have no intention to shed blood. I'll see people suffer in the hands of the law.
Go to the hotel indicated in that paper. The room number is also there. You will see your family members. Disappear with them. If you must successfully escape the law, then you have to hurry, as time is against you. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. I'm so grateful. God will surely bless you, okay? Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Her Majesty and the Princess have done theirs. It is now the final phase of your crown. Step forward. Proceed to the village square.
You think you can win all the time? Arrest him. Hello. Who is this, please? What? Prince Gwebike? That is not possible. Prince Gwebike died in a plane crash. Okay, okay, I'm listening. Thanks of all, I thank you. Thanks of all, I thank you. Oh, no, no, what's it? What is it? Prince is still alive. Oh, Prince is still alive. Hey! Hey! Our prince is alive. He said he was not in the flight that God crashed. Mm -hmm. He said the Lillian girl called him while he was about to board a flight in America. Mm -hmm. She made a call on the day she visited the police station. So he wasn't in the flight. Mm -hmm. He was not in the flight. Our prince is alive. His Majesty's corpse is still safe. Mm -hmm. He said he was the one who planned with the Lillian girl and her mother to take the corpse away from us. So I to stop the our uh, prince is still alive! Alive! Our prince is still alive! 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 Sabu 